Hi everybody and welcome to War Games. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Today we are bringing you our review of NXT War Games. If you like what we talk about today, feel free to give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, I'm your host today. My name is Alex. Joining me today is Steve with his very festive William Regal background. Christmas War Games. <laughs> We've got Johnny. What up? And finally, we have Richard. I'll do my impression of Johnny. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> for life <laughs> boys war games what that did we think fun. of the event overall oh, it was sick it was pretty damn good I think it's, it's it's outdone anything WWE have done this year it's just such good wrestling it, it is it is arguably one of the uh, the best pay per views I've seen this year imagine if Raw or Smackdown Easily. were you doing war games matches and how terrible that pay-per-view would be just like their elimination chamber and hell in a cell ones and things like that you know, hell, in a cell, a hell in a cell was pretty good to be fair but it'd be a war games match with a, a no contest and a count out <laughs> and a couple of legends that turn up. <laughs> yeah but my Goldberg god just stumbles through the ring and undertaker will come back for an obscene amount of money yeah this is this is just the watch this want to know why i prefer nxt over most things just just watch this show. Yeah. If if I had to introduce somebody to NXT, I'd I'd probably pick this this pay per view to show yeah. them. Imagine, Definitely. yeah, we 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 struggled with the women on Survivor Series with the amount of the depth in the roster, and this was just so good. The, the women's mm-hmm. division in NXT is the, probably the best one of the best divisions in the world. It's so I think it's because no one's act. no one's made to look weak. That's why, like everyone no, just looks like a beast. strong. A strong superstar in there, and there's loads more that weren't in this match. But mm-hmm. anyway, we'll get we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Go on, yeah, Alex. It's, it's more depth. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, uh, War Games aired from the you can't Capital say it like Wrestling that. Center. You can't you can't say it, you can't say it like you need, that. You need to say it properly. What do Alex? you mean? War Games. War Games. Oh, War, Games. <laughs> War Games. War Games. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's going to break my voice. Give me a second. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> from the Capital Wrestling Center, which, let's be honest, is the performance center wrapped in tinfoil now. Wrapped on steroids. Yeah. Uh, we had a commentary team of... Wade Vic Barrett. Wade Vic. Wade Vic, uh, and Vic Beth. Joseph and Wade Barrett and Beth Phoenix was on a Zoom call to him. <laughs> uh, these oh, these commentary... Beth- yeah, these commentary Zoom calls are always so... Um, they're always like a little bit behind. They're always a step behind. Yeah. It's... I've seen that place every now and then. You'll see Beth Phoenix pipe up out of nowhere. Like, oh my God! <laughs> like what? what? It happened half an hour ago. <laughs> I'm not a big fan uh, of uh, Vic Joseph, to be fair. Like, um, I think this is the first time I've seen him, but I wasn't really a fan. At least he knew what was going on in the first match. Yeah, I know, but looks like a, I think during the the belt the strap match something happened and he kind of stood up and went whoa. <laughs> I was like, I was a bit over the top. I don't need to yeah. see it. Like, imagine if he's doing that when the cameras aren't on him. He'd be like the most animated commentator. I know. It's a shame they don't have someone a bit like more laid back, like Mauro Ronaldo still there. Oh, oh, now oh, he's doing man. betting company adverts. Oh, I do love Mauro. We miss you, Mauro. I, I miss him so much. That was a joke. Anywho, uh, we get straight into the first match, which is the women's War Games match. There we go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> get better. Oh, Thank you. Uh, we had Team Larray enter first. Well, make their entrances first. Uh, and they chose Dakota Kai to represent them in the match to start with. Dakota Kai gets in the ring, gets herself all G'd up for it. And then... Shotzi Blackheart's team makes their entrances and Shotzi comes out last in a new brand spanking oh, tank. new tank and it looked mint. It did, yeah. it didn't look like a toy. Well, it still did a bit, but not like <laughs> not like a proper child's toy. And then she shot yeah. her all of that. Oh, that <laughs> shot her crystal into the side of the cage and go to guy pooped herself. Yeah, um. before before they fired it off, I was like 
you know, like, because you normally, if you ever buy a gun, you have to have an orange tip. I was like, <laughs> no way if they actually had to paint that orange so that people don't think it's a real gun. <laughs> Surely not. It's got to be kid-friendly, though, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so starting off for Shotzi's team was Ember Moon. She uh, argued her way to start the match, I guess. Shotzi wanted to go in first, but Ember was like, I got this. I'm going to do it. I like Ember's new music. Ember's new music was awesome. Mm. Uh, did she have a tail on her entrance gear? Possibly. I, can't remember. I think so, yeah. I think, yeah I think I saw Sounds like something Ember yeah. did. Yeah. Um, just how, a little thing how, that I noticed. How good was it to see Ember Moon back in the ring doing NXT Ember Moon? Not Raw and SmackDown stuff. Just her being her yeah. at a yeah. full. It's, it's refreshing to see all these people that got failed on the main roster coming back and being what we want, what we what we know they can be. Um, indie wrestlers casually waiting for retribution <laughs> yeah. to make the way back down onto the proper brand, anyway. Um, would, would, well, you, that... uh, would you put Finn Balor in the failed category? I wouldn't say failed, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, what? yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, say failed. failed, no, not failed, but mistreated. I think, I, no, I wouldn't even say that. I wouldn't say he was mistreated by the main roster because I really think they would have gone to push behind him with the Universal Championship, but injury like really affected that whole yeah. thing, like that could have gone anywhere that run. Yeah. He was the, f- yeah. He was the first yeah. ever. They gave him the belt, the first ever. Um, <laughs> he was, Seth Rollins. <laughs> yeah. He was ready to be shot to the moon, but I don't know if Vince um, kind of lost a bit of um, to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I, I love him. Um, but yeah, anyway, but um, I think Vince might have lost a bit of trust in him with his injuries and stuff. You know what Vince is like. He's a very fickle man. Hmm. Uh, so with this match, uh, as we said, Ember and Dakota started it. Uh, Shotzi's team won the advantage uh, yeah. on NXT TV in the week. Um, uh, Yosha Rai in the last yeah. match. Yeah. Uh, so Shotzi came out second. Uh, they got a nice bit of double teaming on uh, Dakota. Before Shotzi came out, though, Wade Barrett had an absolute nightmare <laughs> on commentary, thinking that Ember was the one that was going to be handicapped against for some reason. <laughs> um, even though Big Joseph tried to correct him a couple of times, he still pushed through with the idealism of <laughs> Ember's going to be in a doo-doo in a minute. Bless Wade Barrett. I'm glad that he pulled it together for the last match, to be honest. Um, you know what those Mancunians are like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Shotsy comes out second. Starts double teaming Dakota Kai, but then Raquel Gonzalez comes out to help out her buddy. Buddy, uh, Raquel looked mint. Oh my yeah, god, I, she looks so good. Yeah, she, she looked really like good. Beast. I I love her. I Especially love watching up to a big woman. Yeah, uh, she's yeah. she's she looks like she's that typical big the big um, wrestler type thing, isn't it? Mm. And her and yeah. Rhea Ripley facing off against each other just it gets me so excited every time. <laughs> Yeah, there was so many good spots as well from um, Richard Moon to try and tech out Raquel. Uh, there was that um, assisted DDT mm. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just so much, so many spots happened in this match. I'm just like, I, I'm speechless for some of them. They were amazing. Uh, so, yep, uh, Raquel comes out, starts helping out to cook Kai. Then Rhea Ripley hits the ring, and we get a little stare down between the big women. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Lovely Rhea Ripley. Uh, mm. Loved it. Rhea looked amazing in this match as well, to be honest. Like, yeah. I think, to be fair, everybody looked mint in this they match. They all did. Everyone in this match looks great. Um, um, it's nice to see even Rhea. The, even the more sillier spots yeah. got over for me in this match. Well, are you, uh, you're talking about the best spot in of the year with um, the diving bin. Yeah. <laughs> Body Yoshira. Oh, my. Yoshira <laughs> is perfection. It, it was a face that she pulled before she did it. Though, she was so me. happy. <laughs> yeah. I just... she's. Is anyone doing anything? I don't know. Anyone doing as, anything as good as Eo these days in wrestling? Probably not. Eo's incredible. Yeah. Uh, so Probably who do we have out the next? Out uh, hate me, but... <laughs> Tony Storm was in next. Yep. Uh, 
yet again, Tony looks sick. Tony's amazing. Cracking out kendo sticks. I'm still not fully sold on his, or his, his heel persona, but I don't know. Maybe it'll take oh, a bit of time. But yeah, I just, I think, I, I think it'll be a quick, it'll be a quick change. I still think she's an incredible in-ring performer. Like yeah. the the talent in this match is absolutely out of this world. Insane. So following Tony Storm, Io Shirai made her entrance next, but she didn't get in the ring mm. because Raquel Gonzalez kept stopping her from getting in. That entire bit really got me. <laughs> I proper love that. Yeah, I really <laughs> My thing with it is, yeah, fair enough, it makes sense in the whole grand scheme of things. But if she'd have just stopped throwing weapons in for two <laughs> seconds and just jumped in... <laughs> Then I love that, but the, the build up to the payoff here, it's the whole like, oh, she's going to get in somehow. She's going to climb the ring. She'll get in. But then when you see her on the top in a, like, with a bin, <laughs> and then yeah. she gets in the bin. <laughs> like, this was, it just like, made it, Ooh. it made it so oh. much better. It was great anyway, but it made it that, that next level. It was, <laughs> it was so yeah. fun. Uh, so then Candice LeRae made her way in last out of all the women. And yeah, the match officially began at this point. Uh, even though before EO made her way into the ring, somebody tried to pin. Uh, did did somebody Dakota? try to pin Ember? I think it was Dakota. She did a, yeah. she did a was it a suplex like, into a pinning combination or something? Yeah, and, and then... the ref was just like, the, the match isn't even started. You're like, what? Yeah, the ref was going in front of them. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Like I'm, fine, I'm fine with stuff like that if it's done like on purpose. So, like, I remember yeah. Randy Orton trying to pin Drew during the ambulance mm. match. Like, you know, I'm yeah. fine with it. It's it's like a reaction, isn't it? You're they're on the floor, yeah. just pin them. And, like, you're not you're not thinking. And yeah, I'll, I'm fi- completely fine with it. I, I liked it. Um, so I'm just gonna go through like main takeaways uh, since from when the match started. Um, obviously, the main one is Shotzi breaking Candice's arm. Yeah, it, look, it looked painful when that happened. When she yeah. came down on top of the chair, I was like, oh, why is she holding the chair like it, that? And then... There was so many moments, though, where I thought... Because I knew Candice had, uh, had her arm done. Um, and I thought, oh, is, this, is that the moment? Is that the moment? Is that the moment? And as soon as she went down off the ladder, I was like, no, that was the moment. Yeah, she was messing about, she... fiddling with the chair and stuff. I was like, what's she, what's she doing? Is she going to try and stop the move or something? And then yeah. and then she just kind of, that guttural scream. I was I... like, oh, no, that's not good. I think her arm got softened for that, in a sense, Probably when Shotzi nailed her with a chair and she shot her shielded with her elbow mm. uh, earlier on. Um. Yeah, like, a bit brutal. Feel sorry for her. I hope she yeah, gets better soon. hopefully, because she's just really stepping up to another another gear here in NXT. Candice, she's really pushed to another level. And then to have this injury, it's such a shame. Um, So we finish this match. Oh, after... Um, do, 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 do. After Raquel hit Io Shirai with the one arm power bomb, yeah, yeah, like a choke slam power bomb. Yeah. We still, we still it's not a choke slam. Like, it's not a choke yeah. slam. We're not allowed to say it's a choke. It's a, it's a power right. bomb. It's a power it's bomb. One arm, one arm power bomb thing. <laughs> uh, modified power bomb. Yeah, modified power bomb. <laughs> Nailed it, Johnny. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> through a through a ladder that was bridged across the center of the two rings, uh, and yeah, Raquel Gonzalez has pinned the NXT Women's mm. Champion. Mm. That was great. That was such a good idea. Uh, such a good The idea. match also lasted 35 minutes and 22 seconds. Didn't feel it. I it th- did not. I Usually, if a match is that long, we're kind of like, oh, this is dragon. Didn't feel like yeah. it to me. I thought this went by so quick. It's because it takes so long for the match to start. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah actually. You like you've I'll... watched the whole match before the match actually begins. Yeah, like the way the match is structured, it really gives everyone just a chance to shine. And, and it also gives the people that were in first, unlike the Royal Rumble, a chance to rest mm. a little bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so just a quick one. Apparently, um, I've just seen somewhere that it is a... Uh, Gonzalez gave Shirai a top rope Uranagi into the ladder bridge. Oh, I, can see Uranagi. Uranagi. I can see it being that, but it doesn't really come across as that. Like no, Uranagi. because she she does the one arm power bomb anyway. That's her move, isn't it? The one arm power bomb. Yeah. We're always really impressed with it, but the and then yeah, she just did it off the ropes into the through the ladder. Yeah, I thought it was a really creative finish. Uh, yeah, I just 
I live for Eos moon salts in this match as well. Like, My how God. many did we get? About six of them. Yeah, we got oh, loads of them. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> bit where um, oh, who was it? Was it Dakota Kai jumped onto oh, Eo when want, she was in the? That's, this was my favourite bit, though. Go on, you, was you, you talk about it, go on. When she was in the bin, and it was like a foot, double foot stomp from the top rope, and then she couldn't get the bin off her because she crushed it that much. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was like, crikey, the, the bin like really survived that first jump off the top rope, <laughs> off the top of the cage, and yet <laughs> just Dakota Kai crushed it. <laughs> that must have been terrifying, being like, oh, my God, I can't get out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm glad they got caught, Eo Shirai, anyway, on, like, my... Pat McAfee later on. Who, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all through the group. Definitely winded him, like the poor yeah, guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so should we just do thoughts on this match? I loved it. Yeah, I probably yeah. loved it. Uh, there's, there's, I thought there's a few b- bits were a little oh, floppy. Are you rating it? Ah, it doesn't work with you, think. <laughs> <laughs> I need a green screen. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I thought the review bits are a little sloppy here and there, but like overall, like, most most people were pretty on point. Really, I, th- I think, I think in a match, I think in a match like this, you're gonna get some sloppy yeah. bits because there's yeah, so many people doing so many different things that the camera's not watching. So, yeah, yeah I think yeah. if they know that it's not their camera time, they can get away with the odd sloppiness yeah. sort of thing. Um, but it's a wide view angle, so you can yeah. see everything. Also, the benefit of having a crowd there as well. Yeah, there was somebody with a kid in that crowd, though. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. I could tell they were a parent. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was looking and I was like, is that two people cuddling? And I realized that it was like a, a kid on like a mum's shoulders. And I was like, are they letting people in to see this now? Like, what's actually going on? Is it? I have, no, I have no idea what Florida laws are. <laughs> Two people cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> I just saw an arm around someone. I was like, what the hell? Oh, there's one other spot that I forgot. Um, Ember Moon doing the eclipse onto the two chairs. Oh, Ooh, God. She came over. <laughs> it's like a neck onto the top of the chair. Ooh. Yeah, that was sick. I know. Oh. Obviously, like, in the real world sense, the chairs split apart as she did it. But, like... Oh, it looked like it she stamped around right. him and everything. The, the, the camera work on that spot was amazing. Well, what um, happens when you don't have Kevin done? <laughs> yeah. Best, best, <laughs> female finisher? best what? Best female finisher? Possibly. It is, Probably, it's yeah. so good. It's so A top good. rope flipping stunner. Yeah, it's so good. It looks so cool. And mm. she just comes out of nowhere sometimes. It's got the whole surprise aspect. Um, yeah, I really like it. I'd have to think about it and go through it. I can't remember where we put it in our um, tier yeah, list. Like, we'll just kidding. put it like lower down. <laughs> 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 I don't think, no, I don't think we did Ember Moon because she was out with injury, so she wouldn't have been on the rosters. I'd put it up yeah. in the, uh, the Cesaro tier. Yeah, anyway. I, I put it in Cesaro tier. Anyway, uh, going back to this match, I, I thought this was incredible. It was my favorite match of the night. Um, I get 4.5 out of 5 star. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd give it match battles, but nobody can see that. Um, <laughs> it's it's or, up there with uh, it's up there with any other match I've seen this year, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. We did put Ember Moon in the top bracket. Oh, did we? Oh, good, yeah. good. That's good to know. <laughs> it's good when you got two screens in it. <laughs> I know. I need a second screen. Uh, right, so quickly after this match, we got a lovely little tease of Mr. Balor making his return to TV. Finn Balor. Which I'm well excited about because Finn's my boy. One of your boys. One, one of my boys. <laughs> you like Booker uh, T, you. you've got a fave five. Fave, yeah. <laughs> five, five people. Five, we, should, five. Yeah. we should do a video of who's our fave five. Our top five. It'll change on the fly, though. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, watch, I'll watch NXT, like, in so many consecutive weeks. ago. right, my top five are... Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, so the next match that we got was Tommy Champer versus Timmy Thatcher. Mm-hmm. And this was stiff. This was brutal. This is what we needed to come down yeah. from the last match. From all the crazy was... stuff, we needed just a brutal fight just to bring us all back two two meaty boys <laughs> slapping that meat with a couple of rest holds in the middle slapping it a bit too hard yeah like hitting each other a little bit too much 
Um, but yeah, other it's another top tier match from this. Like th- this, this pay per view came out of the gate strong, and it mm. didn't lose speed at all. I don't think. No, it, uh, it kind of it always stayed up there. It was like you know. yeah, yeah. Main roster pay per views tend to have that little dip, don't they? Where they have the little a uh, break period. Yeah, yeah. I think Jimmy Crockell. Yeah, I think um, Jericho has said something like this, where it's um, when they do WrestleMania, there's um, there's like your actual matches, and then there's your showcase matches that they're not really bothered about. That like you, you the Big Show versus Fly Man, Fly Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the, the Jericho versus uh, Fandangos. They, 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 they do tend to involve the Big Show a lot, don't they? Uh, yeah. 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 <clears throat> I was just um, thinking, yeah. Kelly Kelly, yeah, this... Kelly Kelly and Marina Manunas versus Breath Phoenix and Itaras. I thought you going to say Big Show then. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> been... Big Show special guest ref. Yeah, I just clicked on a random WrestleMania and went and looked at the middle of the card and that was the match in the middle. Beautiful. Um but oh, yeah, the match like... before it was Big Show versus Cody. I could have gone for that. Sorry. Anyway. Oh. That was a solid oh, three star one. Yeah, yeah. So I get there at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So, <laughs> going back, back to, the to the match that we're yeah. actually talking about. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa hit a Widow's Bell DDT to pin Timmy Thatcher in 1646. However, there was a lot of stuff going down in this match before we even hit that point. Um, they've both traded many submission moves, a uh, lot of stiff strikes. Um, at one point, Tommaso got Tim uh, Timothy in the ropes and did a running knee and cracked his ear open. I guess. Yeah, so it like yeah, flipped his ear or something, yeah. didn't it? And... Poor yeah, it, it, it looked like his lobe had split at the bottom or something. Yeah. Like, it looked nasty, whatever it was. But then, obviously, working with what he's given in the match, Jenny is an absolute psycho in a wrestling ring. He started attacking his ear, but he's probably getting him back for the fact that Timothy hit him in the throat and was like, "I'm gonna go for your throat, boy." <laughs> Yeah. Did, Steve, were you like foaming at the mouth at how excited I, you were? I, 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 don't, don't, I really, yeah. This is this was enjoyable to the highest degree. This was, I wouldn't rank it as high as the last match, but this is the kind of stuff that I love to watch. It's just brutal. It lo- everything looked genuinely painful. Um, I don't think these two knew that it's scripted. I think these two just wanted to go out and have a real fight, and I think they did. Um. <laughs> Well, this is definitely a part one of something as well. Yeah, it's building. I mean, they've yeah. had other stuff before like on TV, but this is probably going to build to another pay-per-view. Um, yeah. yeah, just the strikes and the submissions. It just it looked painful. It looked like it hurt. <laughs> it sure did. It You're sure not did. wrong. Uh, Johnny, what did you think? Uh, well, I, I, watched, I took one note from the entire match, and that was right at the beginning. And that was some quality technical wrestling to start it off. And then after that, I was just like in awe. I was just watching it nonstop. <laughs> yeah, too enthralled. Didn't, didn't, didn't take it. any, yeah. Didn't even bother looking at my paper, just writing anything. I was just mm. watching it. It's like, damn, that was good. Mm. All, all the, like you said, all the stiff shots and everything that was going on. Just looked nasty. Some spicy really wrestling. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. Richard, your thoughts? Um,. But I agree with the guys. Like it was a really good match. There was some good stuff at the start. Um, the blood was not over the top, so I was fine with that. Um, I enjoyed the finish. That was really nice. Uh, was it? Um, oh, they called a guillotine into like a. It was a bit like a Randy Orton neck snap, weren't it, from the ropes? Oh, the, the uh, it's, it's draping DDT that he does. Yeah, and I liked the cover as well. That was good. Uh, and I got really excited at the end because I was like, these two are like really similar. Can we get a tag thing out of this? And when they were both on the <laughs> look at each other, I was like, are we going to get... Ooh, are we going to get... I, like, if, if they were a tag team, I, w- I, would, I would quit tag team. <laughs> yeah, there's no point. Just, just get out. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> You're going to get hurt. <laughs> like, yeah, two of these guys beating you up like that. Like, no thanks. It- It'd be just a run of like, they wouldn't even be pinfalls or submissions. It'd just be a run of TKO matches. 
Like, I don't think they'd win championships. Them. I think they'd just keep on getting disqualified for being too brutal or something. <laughs> and I'd be fine with it. I'd just be down yeah, for them. Do each it. other all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I, I really enjoyed it. That was a good match. That's, that's uh, pretty much all I'm going to be saying this whole pay-per-view is I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just clip so... that out and just keep pasting it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the next match up on the card was the strap match between Dexter Loomis and Cameron Grimes. All the way to the moon. Yes! <laughs> My I, man. What a guy. Cameron Grimes. I love Cameron Grimes. I despise that man with He's every amazing. fiber of my being. He's the best. Uh, uh, Loomis came out first looking like a complete psychopath. Terminator over her. Oh, mate, that it's just a dead stare in his eyes. I, I love it because he, he looks the part. Like, nobody else could pull that off, I don't think. He just... He, oh. No, he's he, it's kind of, like, comical in a way, but terrifying at the same time. Yeah, it's like... he's, he's, a kind of, he's the kind of man that you're like, right, I get that you're the face in this match, but you are definitely going to abduct someone and <laughs> bury him in the basement. <laughs> That's this whole... This whole um... Rival re- entire career so far. <laughs> yeah, have, you seen, have you seen his Instagram though? No. He's just like, just on a picture, you can tell that he's like that kind of in real life. He's just like stood next to a barbecue with a cigar, just looking really medicine. Oh, wasn't <laughs> wasn't there something? Wasn't there something on this pay per view like an advert or something where all wrestlers were talking about something, and then it cut to him, and he was just facing the screen, and didn't say anything. Oh, was it the War Games stitch? Oh, yes. whether oh no, yeah, it wasn't on this. It was when everyone's I think it's on YouTube where everyone's trying to do the War Games for Eagle Voice, yeah. and then it cuts to him and he just stares at the screen and doesn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Okay, babe. <laughs> it's pretty much been his entire career. Like when he was in TNA, mm. Samuel Shaw, yeah. he had a creepy abductor gimmick, and he was all. I like, can probably believe that. It, it gen- it's genuine. <laughs> So I remember what, I, I'd only noticed it was him like earlier today when I was oh, watching, really? like looked back I was like I recognise him so I really know him <laughs> and I googled him and I was like TNA I remember him. <laughs> and then a creepy gimmick there and all oh, I can do such a creepy guy um, but I love it so I'll, I'll stop gushing about Loomis for a second let's let's discuss. gush about Grimes yeah Talk uh, about no, him, let's not. Sort of, Ca- oh. Cameron Grimes came out with a big smirk on his face yeah, and did. a strap around his shoulders use his strap. Uh, oh, there's, there's a joke in there about him coming out with a strap on. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying in. Um, so yeah, I um, I, I yeah. When when did strap matches change from you had to t- touch all the corners to pinfall and submission? I don't remember the last time I saw a strap match. To be honest, maybe when no, they I... were stupid concepts. Yeah, it was. I prefer the pinfall and submission, but I just I predicted the touch the corners one, so, so did I. <laughs> it didn't come out nice from my predictions. It's, it's the I quit yeah. match all over again. <laughs> it keeps happening. Um. So yeah, Cameron comes out to the ring with his strap uh, <laughs> with his strap. Over his shoulder. Over his, yeah. <laughs> his strap over his shoulder. <laughs> and the referee presents the actual match strap, but Cameron says, mm. nope, we're using this strap or no strap. He, like, wants, strap on, no he strap. wants to put his own strap on. He does. <laughs> why Why do you get away with it? And I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, oh, I just said he geez. wants to put it on. That's yeah. all. We so... can't put it on their arm. The ref has to check with Dexter. He says, do you have a problem with this? Dexter just stares through him. And he says, I don't think he has a problem with this. <laughs> that was great. That was yeah. great. Uh, and then Cameron attacks uh, Dexter Loomis before he can get the strap on. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm sorry, kids. We've had four. <laughs> um, so they brawl outside the ring for a bit. Um, and then eventually get into the ring after a while, and Dexter puts the strap onto his wrist. Is that better? That's, that's much better. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Right. Uh, and then we get the match, and it's very back and forth. I was uh, surprised that it didn't turn out to be like a bit of a squash match after Cameron got the upper hand in a bit of a brawl. Um, I thought it was just going to get murdered. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, he got some good strikes. He was even whipping him and like uh, 
I want to say choking, but he wasn't choking because he was having it around his eyes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, over his eyes. Like, yeah. Restraining him, I we're guess. Not, we're not but... allowed. To, we're not allowed to choke anymore. No, no. I don't do um, a Daniel Bryan, do we? No, no, you can't. You can't choke with the strap on. <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> on, I your, on your arm. Dead pan on, your arm. <laughs> on your arm. Yeah. I don't see the funny bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um. um... Yeah, I like how they used it. I, 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 the strap match sounds rubbish, but then they actually they were, used it in fun ways. They, they were so. very inventive with how they used the the strap. The strap. The strap. Um. Yeah. I I love the I love Cameron bricking it and trying to run away, climbing over the barricade, and infecting everybody with a potential case of COVID. <laughs> yeah, I was I was surprised that you weren't allowed that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there were so many bangs on the commentary desk on this one as well. I think this is where um, Vic was animated. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because this, yeah, this yeah. Uh, Dexter got smacked onto the commentary desk and he was like, whoa! <laughs> Probably like... <laughs> bit over the top, lad. Him, man. Yeah, well, I'd be annoyed if he came near me. Yeah. And uh, we got the first bit of damage to the uh, barricade on the outside off this match, didn't oh, we? Oh yeah, they put him through. Yeah, yeah chucked him into it, didn't Next it? Next launched Cameron into it and moved it back about six inches. They said, "Yeah, that, that over angle that they're showing of it, you proper saw it. Boom. Yeah, they proper cleaned it out." Mm. And in the words of Wade Barrett, they were held in by steel bearings. They're not now. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Wade. Oh, bless him. Uh, Cameron hit a bit of a kick in this match and Wade said it was a soccer kick and you know it killed him inside to say soccer. Yeah, that's good for us. At least he got to talk about cricket later on. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. true, yeah. <laughs> but, oh, God. Um, I don't think there's much else to say about this match, really, is it? It, it was, was a very it yeah. was a quick match. It was, um... Ooh, how long was it? It was 12 minutes. 12, 12 minutes, 52 seconds. So just oh, under 13 minutes. 12 minutes too long. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, I like watching Dexter though. Like, I enjoy this like silent maniac just beating the living daylights out of someone. Well, yeah, I do. I enjoyed that too. I enjoyed this. It was fun for especially a show. when it's Cameron Grimes. It, yeah, well, I enjoyed watching Cameron Grimes as well a lot. Yeah, um, I really liked it. It's so enjoyable. Um, what else was I gonna say? It probably was my least favorite match on the card, but saying that, it was still a lot of fun. Really it was still a strong it. match for the card. It it yeah. was the um it was the I don't want to say the worst but like it was the yeah it wasn't that the it least wasn't up the there. least best yeah. <laughs> it was the least best match on the card <laughs> um but it was the quickest match on the card as well so it it served its purpose volumes it, on that one yeah it's fun it was, we it got was a, a bit of comedy yeah I enjoyed it uh, Richard what did you think I enjoyed it. It was, it was all right. Yeah, I like the 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 false start. Like, does does the time of this match include the false start? It'd be from the so. bell ring. The match doesn't actually start until he gets the strap on. So, what are you laughing at, Alex? Until he gets the strap on. So I don't know if would it, Alex, it long, you saw it. You saw him mature, Alex. I, I, I mean, he got that strap quite a lot in this match. Mm-hmm. He took it well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed the bit where did, did he pull it from under? He even experimented with the blindfold at one point, and he hit his head off the chair. I like. I yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, he tripped it. He tripped him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. The right person won. Like, I couldn't imagine if Grimes had won this, what it had done for his. No, let's not think about it. No, good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't the best match on the card. It wasn't. It was the worst match. But like Steve said, that's not saying that it was a bad match. It's just you know there was far better on it. Mm. Yeah, Johnny, your thoughts? Uh, I thought it was really good. Uh, I liked all Cameron Grimes's like underhanded uh, like tactics. Although he's trying to like decapit- oh, decapitate, decapitate, <laughs> like disable him by putting a strap on his eyes and everything and. I'm mm. uh, trying to go all Machiavellian about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, he did that weird little Spanish fly thing in the match as well, mm. which I thought was really good. Uh, it's, uh, I had to go right, walk, back and rewind it. And mm. I was like, what was that? It's like, it's like proper this little Spanish fly in the middle of the ring. That really good. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I like Cameron Grimes. 
Nice. <clears throat> good, good. Right, moving on. Uh, da, da, da. Did we get the carrying cross thing at this yeah, point? This is where the promo was. Yeah. Well, promo. Oh, yeah, the, the, the lights the flickered and we got a uh, Bray Wyatt esque The vulture promo. And the cross video. Yeah, uh, there was a vulture in the center. Was it actually in there? The vulture. <laughs> So <laughs> I opened my iPad and it started the war games. <laughs> it started what? It started the, it started it started the what? War games! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to say anything about Carrying Cross. Um, just COVID denier. And then I'll leave it Oh, there. I've not been following any of that. Is he... Is he uh... Yeah. Of, of the same mind of stupidity. Yeah, people. yeah. So I don't really want to talk about him. I, I, I dislike him now. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for Scarlet dating an idiot. No, have you seen her? She's a proper like conspiracy theorist and stuff. She's, she? she's, she's just oh. the same. Oh, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's move on quickly from that one. <laughs> Uh, so the next match is the North American Championship match. It is the triple threat between the champion Leon Ruff, not to be confused with Leo Rush, <laughs> uh, Johnny Gargano, and Damian Priest, a man of a thousand poses. That's what I call him. I'm so glad that they like cut half of his entrance and he was already in the ring before. Uh... Oh, it started just before the promo package, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we missed about twenty. Right. We got 20 time. Goals. We got time here. He's going to be posing for a while. Yeah, yeah. they should do that with the Undertaker, shouldn't they? Let's be honest. Yeah, do a promo package whilst he's walking down. It's like, oh look, he's in the ring already. <laughs> Crazy. You think he'd still be in the ring? <laughs> <laughs> be halfway down the ramp. <laughs> Top of the ramp. Don't push it, Johnny. <laughs> if, if it was that rumble where they had to get the golf carts down. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um. This match was sick. Um, this was like Expand. another proper little spot fest. Um, like, oh my god! Can I just say that um, when he ran into the corner and he jumped, he did the uh, the cutter in midair. Yeah, was mint. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. And the. Um, the Horikarana as well when he jumped from the middle rope to the top rope to the middle rope to the top rope and then yeah, got his yeah. momentum. That was really nice. That. Oh! Really that. He did some really cool little. There was some really cool stuff. <clears throat> so much. Even when Priest put him through the barricade and that woman fell over and knocked the other one over. And she was <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> so that was like, oh, there's the other one. Um, yeah. You did, um, um, go on, sorry. I, don't, I was just going to cover the finish and we can discuss it. Yeah, go for uh, it. Johnny Gargano defeated Leon Ruff uh, with the... Is it the one last shot? One last beat. Call it? The la- yeah, last beat. One of those. Yeah, one final beat. That's it. Sorry. I've uh, edited it in my notes. Uh, 1728 this match lasted. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not bad, Len. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Plenty of spots for me to mark out over. The standing slice spread that Johnny did was mint. He does a good standing slice spread. Um, but before I cover all of it, I will let you guys dig into it. I'll go to Johnny first. Uh, uh, overall, I kind of like the match. There's a few bits in there which I thought were really good. Um, like Johnny Gargano st- stealing from Mighty Girl. Got my eye on it. Did not fail. What did you do with Mighty Girl? That, that faint super kick when he goes to do it, this stuff, and then he kicked the bottom of the knee. Oh, like the yeah. Floor. Mike's girl move. I forgot uh, Mike. Yeah. As soon as I spotted it, I was like, the thief! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like that Leo Ruff guy. 157 pounds against like a 261 dude and whatever Gargano is. Yeah, but do you like, not think that they sold it well? Because he was just slapping them and they weren't moving. I don't know, it's, it's well done, but... Like, you know, Damien Priest is really good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, Damien <laughs> Priest is yeah, really good yeah, these, day, these days, isn't it? He looks amazing in this match. Like, there's loads of good stuff from him. Yeah. But, uh, all his poses. Taking out all them ghost dudes. Yeah. Uh, like every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it I, was I a... I really fault the match overall. But... Yeah, it was a razor's edge one at the, when he went for the bar. 
He did the razor's edge tour. Yeah. yeah. That was really He did cool. a few razor's edges in this match. He's um I'm surprised he hasn't got his own name for it. Yeah, Razor's, Razor's Edge Razor's sounds Edge. a bit weird. It's like as Razor Ramon. Yeah. He, <laughs> I, my only issue with him in this match, I think he went to the well too many times with certain moves. Mm-hmm. Like I think okay. he did about four Razor's Edges. He did so many of those spinning heel kick. Spinning heel kicks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kick. The he did a lot of them, and solid. I was like, they're not coming off for you, mate. Just I thought they looked good. I, I never yeah, had an looked, issue with them. They looked good, but. In the storytelling of the match, when you do so many of them and they don't pay off in the mm. way that they that you want them to, did, I think it's a bit daft. Was he never at that reckoning move though, which is probably I'm assuming is his main finisher. I don't, I don't yeah. really watch much NXT. Mm. I'm assuming that's like his big move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he never he never at that, which is I suppose one key point. Yeah, I as we keep saying about the story of the match, I thought the story the it was a really well told story. Uh, for the mm. triple threat, for a triple threat, um, triple threat is not my favorite type of matches, um, but it did kind of get Leo, uh, Leon out of there for a bit in a, a more believable way. Um, and I did like how um, Priest was reluctant to like deal with him, just like just go away. Yeah, just like <laughs> I didn't him. want to actually wrestle him, just like just move. And uh, Johnny just doing just doing what Johnny does, just being one of the best in ring performers there is. Um, I love he... Johnny getting him to help him as well. Yeah, yeah, that was great. that was good. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I I I enjoyed it. I thought it was it's up there with probably my third favorite match of the night, maybe. Um, yeah, I just I enjoyed it. Enjoyed all three of them. Um, I enjoyed watching Rough. I keep <laughs> trying to make a conscious effort not to say Rush. <laughs> well, I have to think about it every time I say his name. <laughs> But, um, uh, Rich- oh. yeah, just cool. yeah, I yeah. enjoyed it, Richard. Um, my favorite bit was the bit where um, Priest tried to throw Leon Rush rough through the uh, the ropes, and I think Gagano super kicked him from the other side. Yeah, was oh, nice. yeah. I, 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 oh yeah, I enjoyed that bit, but I, I did have a lot of I didn't like a lot in this match, like, I hated the bit where Damien Priest was tied up in the ropes because it just doesn't look convincing at all in the slightest. I think, I think that is a bit of a silly thing to yeah, do. But that's wrestling if you logic. just move your hands down, it it's, unlocks. It's wrestling logic. If you run into a rope, you're not going to spring off like 100 miles to the other side of the ring. It's just re- wrestling logic, isn't it? Yeah, but the referee went to help him and immediately was like, no, I'm not going to do this, and then walked off back to the ring. Like... Well, that's, yeah, that's a fault on the referee there. But, I mean, the whole getting tied up in the rings thing, that's just wrestling logic. Obviously, it's ridiculous. It won't happen. Yeah. But I mean, also, the referee throws... didn't help Bailey tie no. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Damien but, Priest get free from the ropes. Like I say, even if that's just as ridiculous as throwing someone into the ropes and them springboarding, springing off, coming right back at you, it's... um. It's just wrestling logic, isn't it? You just kind of... Mm. But what was worse than that was the 12 screen mask blokes turning up. Like, that ruined it for me. It was such a good match, and then that was just... That, that, stuff's, that stuff's all been if... building, though, hasn't it? That stuff's been... Yeah, but I, mm. I think if you were going to have Halloween one of them Havoc. reveal themselves... It did it at Halloween Havoc, and it suited the pay-per-view. But what has, what's been, that got to do it's with been continue, It's been continuing on NXT TV. Wait, what, what's it got to do with what? Like, Halloween <laughs> Havoc. What I said. You, you, said, <laughs> you said the name of the name for you wrong. Oh, sorry, right, yeah. <laughs> but what, what, what on earth has it got to do with war games? <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the, I can't really be bothered. I mean, it yeah. led to one of my favourite, it led to one of my favourite parts of it was, the, it was me all along, Austin. <laughs> Oh my god. Austin, yeah. was it was like, Austin all along. It was me all along. Austin. Austin. <laughs> that was great. I think you should have left it just saying it the first time though, instead yeah, of walking. Yeah. He got really... down the road going, it was me all along. Yeah, he got really giddy, didn't he? And then there's yeah. some the camera was on him the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I like that Johnny's calling him his adopted son as well now. Austin Theory is Johnny's adopted son. <laughs> I thought you meant our Johnny was calling. No, not our Johnny. It's Gargano. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. Gargano's saying backstage that he's on like the after the um, interviews and stuff to do. That like he's his adopted son. And so. <laughs> so yeah, we got that going forward. At least he's got someone there when Candice is um, 
recovering. <laughs> wow, which is what you've been playing. She's got a broken arm. He's gonna be alone. He's got a broken arm. Like what? Oh, you, I hate you. <laughs> I'll go and see on. Cameron Grimes and his strap on. That's what <laughs> and we move on to the there next one. There we go. Let's go. Yeah. Swiftly moving on. Uh, we then move on to our main event. What's happened, match? Which is the men's War Games <laughs> match. Uh, between the Undisputed Era, which is. Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish, Roger Strong, and Adam Cole, baby! baby! Um, versus the little makeshift team of Pat McAfee and his cronies that he's, all, that he's paid off. Say all the uh, names. With... Give them all the names because they're all great wrestlers. Oni Larkin, yes. Danny Birch, yes. and Pete Dunne. Yes. And also the team the has a name. Does it actually have a name? The brand. Called the brand. Oh. It's not makeshift. They've got a real name and everything. Yeah. Everybody's got a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. Yeah. Um, loved it. Can we talk to see that? The promo package. Oh. Right for this. Like, I, I feel like yeah. this is probably the pay-per-view song of the year as well. Like, this I've is... had war pigs in my head for days so now yeah. it's, so it's such a tune right, to be fair no, I, had, no. I had war pigs in my head and then undisputed era's theme tune hit and then that just takes over that's true that, yeah. <laughs> that it shows that, that to write a song for a pay-per-view like there's, there's songs out there that just do it just like when past. destiny yeah, used the immigrant song for their uh adverts like that got me so hyped as well mm-hmm. yeah there's loads out there i mean just use Triple H always uses Metallica, though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> he does have uh, WrestleManias and stuff, Johnny. He's got a heart of black, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. We anyway, love it. Love to see it. Um, so, to just sum this match up in um, a sentence or a catchphrase that I'm going to steal from Steve, it all kicks off. Hey. When we get a T-shirt, the, um, the first one. The, the lawyers have been informed, and you'll be getting a receipt for that gimmick infringement. <laughs> Next time I see you in the ring, we don't do receipts around here, kid. Just wait till we get in the ring. Yeah. No one steals my gimmick. <laughs> uh, so we uh, we started the match. I say we started the match. The match doesn't start till all eight men are in the ring. But um, we started the. <laughs> Pre-match introductions to the match uh, with uh, Kyle O'Reilly getting in first. Yeah, and then Pete. Yeah, Dunn. yeah. Kyle uh, and Pete. Alex yeah. <laughs> I forgot which one got in first because um, the heels had the advantage in this one. Um, but yeah, Kyle O'Reilly and Pete Dunn were in first. Um, some really good technical wrestling to kick off between them two. It's enjoyable uh, to watch. Yeah. Both trying to put each other to sleep or out of action for the rest of the match. Lots of uh, joint manipulation. Classic Pete Dunster. Yeah. Pete trying to break his fingers every two seconds. Like, you're so English. Just so I'm English. Like I know. I was waiting for him to um, do his little signature, biting the fingers with his gum shielding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, he usually bites his hand, but uh, he didn't. Tell you what, though. Pete Dunn looked golden in this match. He, he does. Literally. He always does. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Fake tan though, like proper hard, or is do you reckon that's mm. a natural? Song? Yeah, because the boy was. Gay. I'd say for, I, I don't know fake tan probably. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, Pete Dunn got a bit of a beat down on O'Reilly, and then uh, only Larkin got in. Only Larkin first. Yeah. yeah. My God, Joe, you know I've only just watched this match and I've forgotten loads of it, which is really because <laughs> I really enjoyed it. But I think it's more because I enjoyed the back half of the match. Um, Even when the match starts, I watched yeah. it twice. The the other pay per view that I had to, <laughs> <laughs> and I hosted. I watched it twice. I should have watched this earlier and like got give me yourself a chance to actually take it all in. Uh, yeah, only Larkin gets in the ring, and it's two on one against O'Reilly. Uh, fish then gets in the ring to help his buddy out. That's Richard's favorite fish. Mm-hmm. Bobby Fish, mm-hmm. definitely deep fried or just. Smoked. 
He can't think, he can't think of something funny. So he's not, he's not going to, you know him, he's not going to say anything. Just move on. He'll edit something in, probably. You got a bit of a look at Bobby Fish, actually. I was thinking that myself. I've been messing with my touch. Yeah, if you were like. Yeah. If you to be fair, when Cameron Grimes was on there, I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> take him. Yeah. Definitely take Bobby Fish over that. <laughs> Definitely yeah, probably. Put on top hat and that actually really is Southern American. I was trying to think whether or not I had anything I could put on and come and mess about. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but you need a fancy dress box in your house. That's what you need. <laughs> Another one. You've already got the cups for Street Profits matches anyway, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, after that, uh, Danny Birch gets in and brings out an orange bag from underneath the ring, and we're all obviously wondering, what's in the what's bag, What's in the Danny? bag? What's, what's in the bag? bag? <laughs> he produces a cricket bat, of all things. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Right. This is so good. He went back to the bag, and Vic was like... What else is in there? It's another <laughs> cricket bat. <laughs> that was great. I um, I love that. And I love yeah. how he, he raised his voice in the ring as well to be like, "Oh boy, go play some cricket, boy." Like, he's got to let everyone know that he's English. <laughs> yeah. Another I don't cricket play cricket, bat. but I like to play with the cricket bat. <laughs> oh, so oh, many English God. people. And then, it, what if it, if it Joseph comparing to someone and uh, Wade Barrett was like, no, it's more like Freddie Flintoff. Yeah, Bobby Yates or something he said. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. So it's not along them lines. Oh, it's more like Freddie Flintoff. And we just, yeah, we just felt in the English yeah. influences. I don't know who that is. I'm just, um, I mean, I don't watch cricket either, though, to be fair. Bobby Yates. Bobby Yates. Yeah. Counts. Uh, the sec- look at the second one the Wikipedia Bobby Yates is an American serial killer oh wow <laughs> <laughs> did he use a cricket bat man? I don't know I'm having a look <laughs> he-, he killed two women and he was sentenced to death right oh that's enough right. anyway go on <laughs> yeah <Jeez>. um <laughs> Roderick Strong came in he did. <laughs> yeah. Roddy. Roderick Strong came in, uh, fresh face, started taking uh, the three Healy boys out. Uh, I thought he did quite well on his own, to be honest, like between them. When he got him in the in the sort of no man's land area, and he was just running through, going sort yeah, of like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> boom, and, boom. Uh, yeah, yeah boom, was... boom, boom, boom. And running back and hitting him again. I thought that was, that was good. Entertaining. Yeah. Uh, yeah strong. And then we got. Pat McAfee come down to the ring. A lad. And started unloading some tables from under the ring. Personalized, undisputed era tables. <laughs> He's such special, a heel. Special tables that don't break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, waiting for that one to go up on Botchamania for a I am the table spot. Um, Alex is full of gimmick infringement. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Sod it. There's other YouTube channels available. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gimmick. None are as good as this, but subscribe, like, leave a comment. Especially if you got this far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if anyone got this far, crikey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we unload these tables, uh, gets in a ring, and just decides to sit on the corner post, watching the boys cause all the mayhem. Well, for a bit. Like a true, uh, like a true leader. Yeah. That is until they get Roddy Strong on his personalised table. And McAfee hits a beautiful moon soul mm, that was good. to put him through the good. table. Uh, yeah, I've got to give props to Pat McAfee. Like, he, what he does is good. And considering he's not, like, it's been in very, the very long. No, it's the second match. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think second it's match in his war games. Like, it didn't look painful, you know. He, like he did it so smooth that mm. he kind of just stood up after it, and I was like, "I'll oh, sell it a little bit, or make it look a little bit like it." Yeah. <laughs> but it was just, he literally just, um, <laughs> he like Otis caterpillar across him, and then just stood up and was like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the final entrant into the match was Adam Cole. Uh, now Baby. Adam. Baby! Baby! <laughs> Sorry, I, for- I forgot that one. Uh, so Adam Cole, baby, gets in a ring. In what match? <laughs> in the male War Games match. My throat's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Um, 
so Pat and Adam have a little stare down and Adam's like, oh, mate, I'm waiting to get my hands on you. And Pete Dunn just goes, eh, I'm going to get in the middle of this for a laugh. As you do. Hands on it. So, so we don't get the ultimate payoff of Adam versus Pat for a while. We get Adam versus Pete. You know, those Birmingham people. Not like. That's still really good. Uh, the boys got good chemistry. Yeah, they work really good together. Yeah. Um, just two uh, great wrestlers. Everybody in this match had really good chemistry, to be honest, I think. Um, I'd happily watch this in some other stipulation again. Survivor Series. <laughs> yeah. I wish, Ains- I wish Ainsley was here to tell us what other cool stipulations WCW had. <laughs> I, I don't know much about WCW stuff. No, because if Ainsley was on this one, he'd give us a full rundown of the history of the War Games pay per view. <laughs> Who was in the very first War Games um, match, and uh, how long it took for William Regal to perfect saying War Games, War Games. Like, yes. Love uh, you, Ainsley. And then he probably <laughs> segue into that moment of. Um, did you know that B. Allen Steve went to see William Regal do a Q and A? Did it was a great night. I got too drunk. Anyway, so that's fun. probably a subject for another video. Yeah. Alex, bro- Alex Bryan. Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, I do think bring it up. Uh, so, yeah, now that all eight men are in the match, it all kicks off. Yeah. There are bodies everywhere in quick succession. Uh, they're on the floor, they're stood up. They're on the floor, they're stood up. Somebody else does a move, they're on the floor. Uh... They're all ganging around, having a chat between them, and Pat McAfee goes, Joe, what? Got to do a swanton off the top of the cage. As you do. As you do. Uh, yeah. And everyone goes, I ain't catching that bloke. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was Pat supposed to be suit. wearing a bin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Japanese lady stole my thing. Um, hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, who can do? I know... Oh, Riley got the pin. Uh, it, was no. on the guy. it was only Larkin. So many notes. Only it was only Larkin, Alex. I keep telling you. Yeah, Pat. My, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Kyle O'Reilly pinned only Larkin. Larkin. Yeah, he's got, I'm glad that um, O'Reilly got was, the win. Right, after. it was a 45 minute match. All right, it was a lot. It was a bit too long. This one. This this one is lower in my rankings than the first one because it just it was a bit too long. It was a bit. Yeah, too... it was. It was a great match, but yeah, it was um, great. Yeah, I, I'd have been happy with it finishing on the Panama Sunrise, to be honest. Yeah, but a mm. good point. And even then, it would have been a bit overly long. Yeah, I liked. Um, I liked O'Reilly getting the win to keep on building him after his match with Finn. Yeah, yeah, I think he needed it. Um. Yeah, it's good because um, to keep building him. Uh, I, I did really enjoy the match. I'd still give it like a 4.25 or something, but i give the first one a 4.5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right, thoughts. Uh, we'll go to... We'll go to Johnny. Uh, I, I really liked it. Uh, I miss seeing Adam Cole. I love Adam Cole. I always have done. Yeah. Um, I think like, like part of being pretty much brand new in the business. He's, he's really solid looking. Uh, a lot of potential. Uh, every, just everyone looked really good. Apart from Roderick Strong. I hate Roderick Strong. <laughs> just personal beef. <laughs> What's he done to you? Nothing. Uh, no, I won that match. <laughs> he's coming for you. He's coming for you, brother. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I thought overall it's pretty good. Like, it dragged down a little bit, but I didn't think it was. It, there wasn't bad times for it. I think overall, I was just constantly watching, constantly enjoying it. Uh, there's no real downtime for a lot of it. There's, well, there's bits, but not didn't drag on too long. Mm. I liked it. Good. <laughs> nice one, uh, Rich. Take time. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I, I did like it. I didn't think it was as good as the women's match. I thought the women's match was better. Yeah. I think it was the best, best, best match on the card by far. Um, I, sorry, I've just got the, the the theme song in my head and it's just stuck there. Which one? Dun dun dun. 
Well, I love how you're doing like weird little bits of it to avoid copyright. Oh yeah, we can't get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're just doing a cover version. Right. Someone get your guitar out. No, I, I play it too well. Um, <laughs> I, 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 it. Uh, I like the tables. I liked the uh, Adam Cole using the fire extinguisher to get in the ring because otherwise he wouldn't have been able to get in there. Blind them all. That was yeah. That was... Um, it's just good. There was just really good spots in there, like. I really am a big fan of Dunn. Like, yeah. He's great. Ever since watching... Who was it? It was Dunn and the other English lad. Tyler Bate. Wrestled on... Yeah. Yeah, Tyler, the yeah. Tyler, Tyler Bate, Pete Dunn match was incredible. Ever since then, I've just been a massive fan of his. Like, It's brilliant. It's good. Yeah. It's, yeah. Even he's, Meltzer he's... gave that a five star and it was in a WWE ring. Well, yeah. uh... Dunn looked sick. To be honest, the first time... I saw Dunn was at a WCPW yeah, show. Yeah, we, we did, yeah. And he was a bit of a joke in it because everyone was... I think he was played as like a proper weaselly heel that you were meant to sort of set the mick out of. So I didn't mm. get what he was all about. But as soon as he came onto sort of the mainstream, um, yeah, can't knock him. Oh, no, nah, he, he suits the walk as well. He, he, he suits being in a group... Uh, Oh, that, that promo package at the start was just so good. Like, mm. and with them saying like they're the best four man team in history, like <laughs> that was a bit too far. But you know, <laughs> hey, Jerry, it's heat, it? yeah, no, no, good match. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I, I think I've like it, I've I literally finished it coming into this, so it's kind of all a bit all over my head. But no, yeah, time to process. Yeah, there's a um, there's a re- there's like a review website that I was looking at before and um you get the youtube.com slash match bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, an we, can't, we can't get a slash match bell until we've got enough subscribers. They won't let you do a, a personalized URL until you have enough subscribers. So don't go to that address. Really don't go annoying. to the address that Johnny said. <laughs> but you know where to find us. Well, you can obviously, they're, they're here. <laughs> they're already here. Yeah. Ainsley's mum. And... Ainsley's mum, if you're watching. <laughs> we appreciate you. Um, yeah, the the review site that um, I was looking at before basically sums it up as uh, it's an amazing marathon match uh, with plenty of action from bell to bell, but it's too much to really recap. Mm, that's just that. lazy. That's lazy. <laughs> Says us. Oh, no, right. the, 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 the thing gives the Definitely actual like beat it. for beat what happens in the match. Yeah. But um, it's just like the ending wrap up thoughts that he gives. Summary. Uh, and he's just like, it's too much to recap. Just skim what I typed above. It, it's hard to summarize as a match. Um, I, I'd say I can really enjoyed it. It was a great match. Um, I don't think any of these matches were as good as last year's. The women's no, match, I remember yeah. the women's match last year being better than the women's match this year, and that's saying something because the women's match this year was incredible. Um, what was men's last year? Was that when um, it was obviously undisputed era because they're, <laughs> they're in every one, they're, yes, they're in every single one. Uh, yeah. was it big demo going mental on all the spots? It was, last year? um, was last year it was uh, Champa, Champa Keith Lee, Dijakovic, and Kevin Owens versus undisputed era. Oh, yeah, because it was a surprise return. Yeah, for that was incredible. And then we had Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, Tegan Knox and Dakota Kaiver, Shayna Baszler, Bianca Bella, Io Shirai and Kaylee Ray. And that was... In- and Dakota Kai. That was incredible. I said Dakota Kai, yeah. No, but she played both teams. Oh, right, yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this match. Um, just don't think they lived up to last year's. But mm. saying that, it was still a great match. Lots of good spots. I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I I want to go watch this one again because there was so much, and it's so forty five minutes, so long. It's probably not sunk in now because I can't. It's a kind of match that needs like a fine tooth comb treatment, mm. and for you to watch spots back before you can continue watching and stuff. Um, yeah. It's definitely worth a second watch, though. Yeah, I'd say this is probably. Um, the pay-per-view of the year maybe maybe probably maybe. i'm um, rob burgundy <laughs> <laughs> okay. um but yeah 
it's just enjoyable. I'll I'll yeah, leave it. My I'll only leave other, it my only other thought is Pete Dunne's a longer singlet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit low cut. Pete Dunne needs no, no, on the bottom end. <laughs> on the bottom end. It's very short on the bottom, isn't it? It's very, yeah. very, very short. Yeah, I like to that after the low blow, Adam had to check that it was all still there. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good fondle. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we've got plenty to take away from this pay per view. Like we've got an Adam Cole babyface run to look forward to. Um, and like Kyle's obviously going to go on a mad singles run now. I think. Maybe get in it the North American title. That'd be good. I'd like to see Champa versus O'Reilly. Uh, yeah. Gargano, I meant. I didn't mean Champa. I meant Gargano <laughs> versus O'Reilly. Um, yeah, we've got Finn returning this week, and we even got teased for New Year's Evil. New Year's Evil. Bless them. They they try with those it? names. Just to, just it's on, it's just on the sixth of January, so it's not really. Uh, yeah. It's new the first. Year's Eve. It's the first show in the new year. Um, they should just stick to Robin WCW names, I think, instead of trying to make their own. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably going to work out for them better, but... Ah, oh, well. Can't have all of them. Anyway. Unless you call one Nitro. <laughs> NXT Nitro. <laughs> NXT Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there's nothing else for me. No, yeah, I think that we've covered everything. Um, take us home, Alex. Let's sign off for the... Uh, so Raph says, the... take it home. Take it home, boys. So that was our review of NXT War Games. War Games. Games. Uh, as I said at the start, if you like what we talked about, uh, or if you've got a bit of a different opinion to us, let us know in the comments below. Give us a like and a subscribe. Tell it to your family and friends. Share the good word. If, uh, if, if you didn't enjoy it, don't just put a dislike. Tell us, tell us what you like, right? <laughs> oh, Richard's angry. Right? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what can we do to better you? Better serve you. Know that, you. in the ring. What can we do to do better YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> How can we improve the YouTubes? <laughs> right. <laughs> Enough of the silliness. Right. Uh, the tune, sing the theme sing tune. The tune. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a theme That's tune. It. BBC's coming for us now. <laughs> Take it out, everyone. Right, like, yeah, let's go before we get copyrighted. Bye, everyone. Bye. Uh... Bye.